Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Fantasy Calradia. Now, when we left off, we had just taken Tyr from the likes of the Kingdom of Nords, and they didn't put up too much of a fight, which I was very surprised at, because King Ragnar was stationed in the garrison at Tyr, and I was expecting quite a significant battle. However, we took out, I do believe, 400 and something units, and... Well, we utterly destroyed them, so I do not believe we need to worry about the other two fiefs, and we will be taking them out as soon as possible. So, with Ferentis' level up, we are going to be giving him a little bit more in strength, I do believe, and I think we probably also... Hmm... Want to level up his magic defense? I suppose so. Yes, why not get some more magic defense for him? He is a little bit weak against them. Now, he is using a maul, which is a little bit worrying, I have to admit. I really would like him to use something a little bit more damaging. Maybe we could get him a maul of the titans at some point. That would be a pretty reasonable upgrade, I do believe. Yeah, that would be really good for him. And we'll level up Unela's power throw skill. I think she is actually a very good thrower of weapons. Okay, so I have made my way over to Horus Castle. As you can see, we have... Quite a few units here. I would actually say that we have, yeah, actually 300 units there, I do believe. So what we're going to be doing is, before we leave Tier once and for all, we are going to be heading into the goods, because we do need some food. Oh yes, we need some food. Who would have thought it? Needing to feed our units is definitely top priority right here. I was keeping that shield for some reason, so I guess I may as well. Now, wait a minute. I think this chess piece could actually be used for one of our units, so I will be taking that, and we'll see if anyone could use it. I feel like Nizar? Doesn't he have a terrible robe? Perhaps? Yes, he does. Well, this is actually only... Yeah, only slightly better, as you can see. Only three body armor more, which is a little worrying, but nevertheless, he does actually have a pretty terrible scimitar. Do we have something that we can give him? No. Okay, we're going to have to try and see if we can get that scimitar of speed. I do believe one of you told me that it was from the Four Ways in, So we are going to be going over there once the Nords are eliminated, I do believe. That should provide us a very nice weapon. And we'll see how well that goes. Oh yes, the Blazing Hand Temple has now changed from rich to very rich. That is what we like to see. Oh yes, we like to be... Getting paid. Getting paid a huge amount of money. Now, <laughs> it would be, wouldn't it? It would be one of the last fiefs that we get. And that is a siege tower. So we're going to be doing some damage against them. And we'll see if we can actually take them out. But 42 hours it will take. 42 hours for the siege tower to be completed. And, oh, we have a couple of vassals outside as well. I'm a little bit worried about them. But I don't think we need to be too concerned Right? Right, guys? We don't need to be too concerned? Oh. No? Oh. They might be. They might be deciding to attack us. Nope, nope. Okay. They don't appear to be too worried about us. Mm, even though they should be. They should be very worried. And I should also be worried about this. Yes. Now, there is a very good reason for this. And that is primarily because the wages are destroying us right now. And I am going to need to take all of these castles and give them to other people because right now tax inefficiency as well as the wages for the units in those areas is completely killing us so as you can see look at this tariffs from blazing hand temple 10,000 that is the only reason why we're actually doing any bit good here because as you can see 7,000 loss that is just insane so we're gonna need to try and haul that back a little bit try and hold it back as much as possible and see if we can remedy that by giving some of the other castles to our other vassals and they can deal with the taxes that are concerned with that. Oh my goodness. Didn't I reduce the amount of tax inefficiency that I had from the social policy? I'm not entirely sure. Well, whatever the case, let us bless everyone. Give everyone bravery as well. And wow. Okay, we don't have very good units at the front here pushing the siege tower. That is a little worrying, I have to admit. Come on, Nazar, get out there. Get out there. Yes, that's what you get. Get out there. 
Okay, so <laughs> thankfully enough, he's helping now. He was a little bit stuck behind the siege tower there. Maybe he was hiding. I would like to think that he wasn't hiding, to be honest. He does have new armor on now, so I'm very hopeful that he'll be a little bit more armored. Only plus three body armor, but still a pretty reasonable amount. Not too bad. And yeah, I'm just going to be on the lookout for any better armor for him. Hopefully we'll be able to acquire some, hmm, maybe some royal elven plate for every single companion. No, that's never going to happen. Not unless our gnomish bank savings are used, which would actually give us enough to kit out every single companion, maybe? Every single companion? I actually don't know whether it would be every single companion, but it would do a lot of them. That's for sure. It would equip them with some very good armor. And the only person that has gotten taken out so far is Marnid. And I'm a little bit worried about him, to be honest, because, oh no. Marnid, how could you allow yourself to be pelted so incredibly? Well, does he have a shield? I feel like he has a shield, so he may want to use it. That would be a good idea, wouldn't it? Ah, maybe I should have taken a look at him before he got taken out, so I could have healed him. We do have the ability to heal, after all, so maybe I should make good use of that in future. That would be a good idea. Hmm. Well, I was primarily thinking of the siege tower and how fast it was actually moving. Kevtil has been taken out. His shield is still intact. I cannot believe that he was allowing himself to be taken out in such a way. Alafira has also been taken out, but she does not have a shield, so I can excuse her this time. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, so let's head in. Bless everyone. Forentis is running there with no shield. He is a very brave man, and we're going to be seeing how well he does here. Now, the Nords, while they may not be very good at archery, they have proven themselves to be rather devastating. Especially when your units do not have any shields. So, let's be careful here. I have terrified everyone, or at least I hope I have terrified many, many units here, and I'm hopeful that I'll be able to do a little bit of damage. I'm not going to jump. Jumping is going to be a certain death sentence. Well, technically not a death sentence, but it would cause us to get jet-packed off the edge, perhaps. And we are going to be terrifying yet again. I want to try and... Oh my goodness. What am I being attacked by here? I actually have no idea. Okay, let's heal. Heal, everyone. Thank you very much. Now, let's not get shot in the face. Oh, no. Have I done something bad? I appear to have done something bad. Maybe. Or maybe not. I can take all of them out. There we are. Thank you very much. Let's take that fellow out. Take this guy out and that one. Excellent. And our clay golems are doing an excellent job as per usual. And now we are full HP once again. I love it. Wow, I really do love playing with Blazing Hand Inquisitors, because even though they, well, they are very expensive, that is for sure. Even though they are very expensive, it is so lovely to have the fact that we can get healed at a moment's notice. And indeed, for many of our units to also get healing as well, when I'm not there to be able to provide that kind of assistance. So, that is great. I actually really like that. And it is a stark contrast to playing with Arcane Deathbloom, because all those days ago, playing with Arcane Deathbloom, we would not care how many units we lost. Although, I would somewhat care, because of course, then it would cause us to have to revive many of them and to reanimate their corpses. Well, maybe nothing so morbid, but yes, we would have to use quite a few of those units, and... Well, I suppose... The time with Arcane Deathbloom was spent mainly using mages, and, well, that's for a very good reason, of course. Mages were very powerful, and they still are powerful in a certain respect. I'm actually not entirely sure what magic is like nowadays. Maybe we should get a little bit of magic, but we don't have a lot of magic power. So it may be a little bit difficult to use that efficiently and indeed effectively because of course we don't have the magic power skill which is a little bit of a shame yes that's what you get Nord veteran 
trying to take us out. Oh my goodness, that was very close actually, i got to say. Now I'm a little bit worried, I don't have a shield, but I can pick up one, thank you. There we go. Now let's take out as many of these units as we can. There we are. Come on, take him out. Now we need to be careful because I have a feeling... No! Oh, yes, I have a feeling that the clay golem was going to be taken out. Oh no. No! I knew it. I knew it. Are our units stuck on the stairs? I don't think so somehow, but they appear to have a little bit of difficulty getting down. Oh, maybe they're being blocked. Ah, they are being blocked a little bit. Ah, that was the reason. Okay, I needed to help them out a little bit more there. But nevertheless, I do believe this is a victory, yes. Ah, so unfortunate. We were only 12 units out from surviving the entire siege. Well, what can you do? <laughs> well, I suppose you could have healed a little bit more. Veteran, how dare you? Well, nevertheless, I do believe that is it. And we are in a very good spot now. We have taken Horus Castle and hopefully Chalbeck Castle will not be a siege tower. Ah, the siege towers do grind my gears rather considerably. I would prefer if it wasn't a siege tower. Wait a minute. Is that a clay golem? Why is a clay golem all the way over there? Wow, that is pretty impressive for him to get that far. But I suppose that is the reason why he got taken out as well. 322 units we were able to take out. And we are going to be letting those guys go. Even though they have bad reputations. And indeed they have bad attitudes towards us. I am going to be letting them go. And oh, I think that will be it. I am not going to be taking anyone else. Shall we take some prisoners? Let's take some Valkyries. Why not? And we'll take a little bit of loot. And there we are. Let us head on. So, who are we going to give this castle to? Well, Lord Oraka does not have a castle yet, so we're going to be giving him that. And Divinath does not like Lord Oraka by the looks of things, so Divinath is going to be getting the next one. Okay. So, let's level these guys up. There we go. Get some more Dwarven Champions and some more Clerics of Moradin. And Frudak. Our friend Frudak has leveled up, so let's get some more strength on him, some more Iron Flesh. Make him into an even greater beast. And then Lezalit as well. Let's get some more strength, I suppose. Yeah. More power throw? Maybe. Maybe that's a good idea. I don't know. Nazar as well. Wow, a lot of people leveled up, so let's get some more agility on him. Wow, he has a very low agility. We need to get some more athletics on him as well. There we have it. Very nice. Everyone has leveled up. And we have not leveled up just yet, unfortunately enough. We are still level 33. Wow, there is quite a bit of time to go. Hmm. Okay, well, Jarl Nadar and Jarl Turia are both outside here. We are going to wait here for some time just to restore our HP a little bit. Jarl Logerson of the Kingdom of Nords has been taken prisoner by Sanctus Bellicus. I like it. I like seeing those messages. Very cool. Okay, I think we are all full HP. Wow, that is how fast. Who is it? That is how fast Jeremus is at restoring our HP. Goodness me. Wow, that guy really knows how to mend some wounds. Look at that, the village of Willin has been looted by Lord Divinath Blackforge. Well, I do like seeing that, but of course it is reducing a little bit. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, Willin is all the way over here. Oh my goodness, okay. That is... Quite impressive for him to be ahead of us. Hmm. What is he planning? Is he planning to defect? I wonder. Oh my goodness. Whoa! What? Wow. Lord Divinath appears to be the next Mr. Ortracker, perhaps. If we cannot get Mr. Ortracker, then perhaps this is a good replacement. Look at him. His forces are doing battle against three vassals of the Kingdom of Nords, and he is winning. He is winning so dramatically right now. Whoa, he's giving us the chance. He is giving us the opening for us to be able to take Chabek Castle, so we will take it. Let's go in. He is going to be getting this. He is definitely going to be getting this for helping us out so incredibly. Wow, I was not expecting any vassal to help us with our campaign, but thankfully 
this guy appears to really take it upon himself to come over here and help us. Wow, that is great. Oh my goodness, we are outnumbered. We are seriously outnumbered. This is not good. How many archers do we have? 17. I think this could actually be one of those times when we stay outside and we use our archers a little bit. They do have some mages. Do bear that in mind. And I would like to get our redeemed over there. That is Jeremus, I do believe. We don't want him to die too early. Hopefully our archers will be incredibly efficient from this distance. Maybe. Come on, guys. Come on. What are these two doing? Hello. Baron Burr and Ninok. <laughs> Rather impressive. Okay. Hmm. Where is Marnid? Marnid is over here. Ah, there we are. He is throwing his various spells. Doing a pretty reasonable job as well, but they're not seeming to be firing that much. It appears as though our infantry are blocking them somewhat. We may need to move them a little bit forward. Perhaps. Ah, there we go. Excellent. There we are. Oh my... Whoa. Eldritch Knights. Look at the damage they were able to do. That is... Whoa. Okay. Yeah. Give them some space, everyone. Give them some space. That is the only way we will succeed. We will gain victory through the use of mighty ranged units. Wow. New enemies have arrived already. I like it. And I've already destroyed that fellow's shield with the Holy Avenger. Goodness me, I don't think it even has a bonus. Okay, we are going to be telling everyone to charge in. We need to. Almost immediately right now. Because the enemy reinforcements are so far away. I don't believe they will get here anytime soon. And we are going to have a free reign in the battlements. As you can see, look at this. I'm already in here. And there is no problem whatsoever. Wow. Okay, look at this. Dwarven Paragon. Come on, let's do this. A two-man army against very, very many units. Okay. <laughs> Be a little bit careful, though, please. Oh, yes. We do not want to get taken out. Look at how large the Clay Golem is against the Nords. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Wow, they have a lot of low-level units, i got to say. There's not a lot of veterans here, that's for sure. Whoa. Okay, I'm being shot a little bit. By, oh, their mages. Their mages are in the tower over there. Okay, we're going to need to get our archers in here as quickly as possible so that we can hopefully make good use of them. Okay, let's get them over here. Yeah, let's get them over here. There we go. That's a good position, I do believe. And now we are going to be making our way all the way around to the archery nest. And I must remind myself to take control of our archers a little bit, just to make sure that they are doing as efficient a job as possible. Because, of course, they are going to reach the top there, and they're going to start raining down death. And then we probably want to move them into the courtyard, once our units have gotten down there. Maybe? Or maybe they're just as good from any range. Perhaps. Perhaps that is indeed the case. Well... Let's see. Let's see how well it goes. Well, it appears as though everything's going very, very well right now. Okay, we're going to be moving our archers down there. Now, we do need to get through here, however. Come on, let's do this. Take out these Nord archers. How dare you? How dare you have an archery nest? There we are. Take them out. Oh, my goodness. How many units do they have in here? Wow, they have a huge amount. That is for sure. Wow. We do know how effective two-handed axes can be, so we do need to be a little bit cautious about fighting these archers. And there we go. I do believe that is it. And our archers are down there. They are continuing to deal damage. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That is great. Okay, so am I going to be jumping down here? I don't believe I am. There is an axe in my shoulder, technically in my neck. Look at that. Veteran is not happy. He is not a very happy man. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, Jeremus will get that out a little bit later on. Oh my goodness, wow. Okay. Let's jump down here. 
Let's jump down here. There we go. Thank you very much. Now let's heal ourselves. Heal ourselves a little bit. And there it is. A victory for Sanctus Bellicus. 14 renown and 41 morale. Excellent gains right there. Now the only unfortunate thing is many of them are escaping. Yeah, they almost all escaped, which is really quite unfortunate. But we do get the upside of being able to take a lot of Blazing Hand units. I do like that. And we can take another Valkyrie, I suppose. We'll take some veterans as well. We're not going to be needing to chase after anyone, I don't believe. So we can take a couple more prisoners. And this will be going to Divinath, because he is just such an amazing help to us right now. Taking those vassals on by himself. Look at that. He is actually winning. He is winning. Wow. Let's see what happens. Oh, they're ganging up on him. They are ganging up on him. This is not very nice of them, is it? Let's go. Rush to the aid of Lord Divinath. So we have 269 against... 67? No, 87. Yes, 87 by the looks of things. Okay, so let's not charge in. But let's take a forward position. A little bit of a forward position, shall we say. We do need to take out that Valkyrie, however. My horse is not that fast, so we need to be a little bit careful because this guy is using a hunter horse. And hunter horses, they have been very, very good to us in the... Past. They have been very good to us in the past. I'm still alive. I am still alive. Don't look at the health bar. I'm just a ghost right now. I'm playing in first-person view with no weapon and no shield. Okay, wait, wait. Don't look at the screen just yet. Okay, here we go. There we are. We're walking across the ground a little bit faster than usual. We don't have a shield or anything because we are an ambassador of peace to the Kingdom of Nords. But they're not taking it very well, and it appears as though many of our units are not charging in. So we need to get that going. There we go. Yes. Now we're going to be looking at the sun for no apparent reason. But yes, we are walking along the ground as a ghost. And we're not... Yeah, no one's buying this. No one is buying this at all. Okay. Well, that guy really knew how to throw a weapon. That's for sure. 81 damage headshot. Wow. I don't even know what to say. That was pretty impressive, I have to admit. Where are we, by the way? Where did we die? Is this us? I don't believe so. This is us over here. Okay, so that is not a headshot. That is not a headshot. That is a shoulder shot, if ever I saw one. Seriously? It's not even a shoulder shot. It's a back shot. How does he do 81 damage? I have no idea. Wow, okay. It must have hit us in the head and somehow the model got a little bit mangled, perhaps, while we fell off our horse. Ah, my goodness. How is Veteran ever going to recuperate from that. I have no clue. Okay, well, we did help. That is very nice indeed. And we are going to be letting most of them go. We'll take a couple of the Valkyries. These Valkyries that was able to very easily take us out. Oh my goodness. Wow. That was, I gotta say, pretty impressive. I do give them mighty respect for that. Wow. Okay. Well, without further ado, I am going to be ending this episode of here, and next time on Fantasy Car Radio, we will continue taking out the Nords. I do believe I may take out a couple of their vassals off-screen, and then we will decide whether we want to declare war on anyone else, because these guys, well, they didn't really stand much of a chance, did they? So, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.